guys, it's Caroline, and today I'm gonna be teaching you Italian. As some of you know, my major was Italian language, and I studied at a university in Florence, Italy, so I would consider myself pretty qualified in teaching Italian language, and I am here to help you. So I'm going to teach you some basic Italian words and phrases that will be very helpful for when you come to Italy, and I guess I'll just get right into it. As far as manners go, I'm a very polite person when I travel, and I'd say the word please is definitely important for you. So first we're gonna start with please. Per favore, per favore, per favore. Next word is thank you. Another quite simple word because it's just one word, grazie. And surprisingly, it is the word that I hear mispronounced the most by foreigners and tourists. So this is very important because a lot of people say grazie instead of grazie. And if someone says grazie to me, it's very easy for me to be like, oh, okay, they're not from here. But if you say grazie, it will be much easier for you to pass as a local or, I don't know, seem more cultured, I guess. So make sure you say grazie. Believe me, it makes a difference. So if you want to add even more to your grazie, you can say grazie mille. Grazie mille. Thank you very much. Thanks a million is what it translates to, but you would say grazie mille if you're very thankful for something, if you wanna be extra kind in your thank you, so grazie mille. Next are hi and bye, and you use the same word for both of these, which is ciao. It's probably a word you know very well. One thing I would suggest if you wanna sound a little more local when you say ciao is to hold your O out more at the end. A lot of people who don't speak Italian natively say ciao, like really quickly, just like ciao like puppy chow almost. But in Italy we're like ciao. I know if someone's Italian because when they say ciao to me, they're like ciao. <laughs> I know it seems ridiculous to hold the ooh out at the end, but that really does make a big difference. So just say ciao instead of ciao, okay? Okay, next is hello and goodbye. Same word again for both, but this is formal. So you would say this to someone you don't really know well, or if you're in a fancy restaurant or a fancy boutique or shop, you would say salve. So when you see someone, you say salve. Salve, 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 salve. Okay, I'm done. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The next is a greeting, buongiorno, which means good morning or good day. And you say this until 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And then you start to say good evening, which is buonasera. So good morning, buongiorno. Starting at 4 p.m., if you see someone, you say buonasera. And then you start to say buonanotte which means good night. I say buonanotte when I know that my friends are going home to bed or I myself am going home to bed. So as far as when you would use buonanotte, I would just say if you're going to bed, someone else is going to bed, you're going home and like calling it a night, you'd say buonanotte. The next one is see you later. Arrivederci, which is another word I hear mispronounced a lot. Um, it's very common for people to say arrivederci. It's not arrivederci, it's arrivederci. Not arriva, it's arrive. So if you say arrivederci, people know you're not local because you're saying arrivederci instead of arrivederci. It's a small thing, but once again, that makes a difference. So arrivederci, see you later. Next one is see you next time. So if you're at a restaurant you really love and you're leaving and you know you'll be back, you would say, alla prossima. Um, see you tomorrow. A domani. A domani. Next is, where are you from? Di dove sei? Di dove sei? So you can answer that by saying, sono di, and then your state or city. So I say, sono di Nebraska. I'm from Nebraska. And then you say the country, which I have to clarify because, um, not a lot of people know Nebraska, but if you say like New York or California, I'm sure they'll recognize it. But in my case, I say sono di Nebraska in America. So I'm from Nebraska in America. Depending on the context of why they're asking the question, you could also just say I'm American. So you would say sono americana. So that's what I say, sono americana. But if you're a man, you'd say sono americano. 
you'd end it with an O because it's masculine. But if you're Canadian or English, the ending is the same. You don't change it for masculine feminine. So if you're Canadian, you'd say sono canadese. And if you're English, you'd say sono inglese. And that's the same for men or women. If you don't understand something, it's probably important that you let people know. So you would say non capisco. I don't understand. Non capisco. If you want to know if someone speaks English, you'd say parli inglese. Do you speak English? Parli inglese. If you don't want to say that whole thing, you could just say inglese, like English, and they'll know what you mean. <laughs> but parli inglese is more of a complete question. Sorry if you bump into someone, if you spill your water, if you do anything like that. You would say scusa, which is informal. So if you're like in a pizzeria or something, you'd probably say scusa. But if you're in a formal dining experience, nice tablecloths, or if you bump into like an older lady, you would say scusi. So scusa, informal, scusi, formal. Another word you'll hear a lot in Italy is va bene, which means all right. So if someone says, how is this table over here? You can be like va bene, perfect, perfetto. That's another word I should tell you. Perfect, perfetto, perfetto. Another important phrase is one moment, un momento. And if you want to be extra polite, you would say un momento per favore, one moment please. Un momento per favore. If you need a bathroom, which is also a very typical situation when traveling, you would ask, Dove il bagno? Dove il bagno? Where is the bathroom? And if they respond with straight, left, right, upstairs, down the stairs, you'll have to figure that out on your own, but usually they'll point you in the right direction. Another question is, are you open? If you want to ask a shop or a restaurant if they're open, you'd say È aperto? È aperto? Is it open? And they'll usually say sì, si, yes, or no, but they say no. It's pretty much the same as no, but in Italian the no is no. Sì si or no. It's just a bit of a different pronunciation. If you're in a shop and want to know how much something costs, you can say Quanto costa? And gesture to the item. You can also say Quanto costa questo? How much is this? Next! Do, 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 do. Mm, this is important. How old are you? Quanti anni hai? Quanti anni hai? Quanti anni hai? So I would respond Ho 25 anni. I am 25 years old, which actually translates to I have 25 years. But if they're asking me directly, I would just say 25, 25, because we both already know what the context of the question is. I don't need to say I am 25, I would just be like 25. Most of my audience here on YouTube is between 18 and 25 years old, so I'm gonna teach you how to say all of those ages between 18 and 25. If you're out of that range, I'm so sorry, but I can't go through every single age. That would take way too long. So yeah, um, 18 is 18 if you're 18 years old. 18, 18. If you're 19, 19, 19. If you're 20, 20, 20. Like a venti latte at Starbucks but you have to get the accent 20 or 21 21 21 22 22 22 22 23 23 23 24 24 24 and 25 which is my age 25 25, 25. So, those are all the ages 18 to 25. Another important question, how are you? Come stai? Come stai? An informal way of come stai would be come. So if I see my friend, I'm like come, come. You could also say come va, how's it going? And if you wanna say I'm good, you would say sto bene, sto bene. 
Sto bene. I usually just say sto bene because it's an easy response and you don't need to get all complicated. But um, obviously if you're not feeling good for some reason, um, we'll get into that in another video. But I would say sto bene. That's just a typical response. So I would say those words and phrases are a very good place to start. And there's so much more I could share. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Make sure to follow me on Instagram too. I'm there every day. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao for now.